Wow. <laughs> Welcome everybody back to another episode of our Let's Play. This is Dallas here. Just check this out, man. I mean, come on. Or woman. Can you imagine playing on this world 24-7 with this render distance? I would be able to see if a zombie was creeping into my museum. Not that you can see entities that far, but <laughs> you know what I mean. You can see my castle out there. You can see into the... <laughs> You can see the engine we just built out there. On my house. To the lumber yard. It's a little laggy, I will say. I love this. Maybe one day I'll get a decent enough computer where we can play on this 24-7. Back down we go. So I just got back from a big trip in the end, mainly because I'm trying to collect chorus fruit, but I found a bunch of new <laughs> in city towers with a lot of cool gear as usual. Definitely not complaining there, but I'm getting this stuff to obviously make end rods. Yeah, okay, so I completed this side of the fence of the lab and I actually really like it. It looks really cool at night because obviously it glows. Oh, look at that. I made them four wide. And I just got it coming right around here, coming to this hill. So it just blocks off this little section right here. Oh, crap. Forgot a trap door there. Eh. But this part of the lab, which is the creeper research room. This glass window right here was actually supposed to be a viewing window into an obsidian room where we would eventually bring charged creepers from no man's land and view them through here and have some sort of system where we can blow them up. But I feel like that would be way too complicated. <laughs> and I was not mistaken, it probably is. So maybe we can convert this room into something else and not have it as the creeper lab anymore. I really like how it turned out. Oh, hi, report. Wait, you can get out this way. Don't go that way, okay? Temporary. <laughs> anyway, what I'm getting at is eventually these parts of the labs, I want to pretty up and make it look good on the outside. So we can just put a skin over the whole lab in these areas to make it look really good. Anyway, if we come over here, I have more fences. This kind of wraps around this leak right here. I'm gonna finish this. All right, there we go. I'm actually playing with normal Minecraft music on now and I miss it so much because you guys always hear music in my videos, but I don't get to listen to anything while playing the game because that's all post-production. It's actually nice and soothing to have Minecraft music again for once. I don't like this. There. <laughs> it's a little slopey right here, but I kind of like it. This is cool. I like this fence a lot. It adds a lot to the lab. Now, if we go back out to the front, how does it look on both sides? Ooh, look at that. It's looking more official. And also, I want to try something else in the front. I just want this place to look so cool. I think I want to run some pipes around this part of the hill. Not a lot, maybe a few coming out and then going back in, you know, just to make it look mechanical. I might do that. No man's land. I built a little bunker in here. Uh, another one that is, I also have, I made one there before, but I made this one right here. This one's kind of cool. I come in here if I'm scared and want to run away. Uh, <laughs> gotta be careful though, I got a pit right here with spikes. But uh, got some mob heads here, um, but this is mainly a shelter for me. I'm going to put maybe a netherite sword in here and a stockpile of arrows eventually. But I love these windows because they're like a perfect height for me to peek out. Go in there, there, and over there. Then, of course, got a trap door here that'll lead us into the trench if we need to. I'm getting ready for war. You never know what'll happen. Okay, I just got done adding like eight stacks of mud to no man's land. Probably won't change much, but oh yeah. See, it's starting to look much more like I want it to. And I want to continue doing this over time. I want this place to have more mud than grass. It just makes sense. As you know, we have this wall right here. I continued it over this way. And I'm adding in these like structures around, sort of like this, to make it look like old houses that might've been blown to pieces. Anyway, that's enough no man's land. I want to go out to that snow biome and build something. That snow biome from last episode, if you don't remember. So, I'll meet you out there. Right here is the edge of that biome. But instead of just flying myself to that area, I wanna have fun a little. Take off the armor, pull out the toolbox, get on some leather boots so I don't sink in powdered snow. Just put this stuff away for a little bit. 
Need to change this skin. There we go. Don't want frostbite. Okay. I have a slight idea of where we were last time. I want to get to that frozen pond again. So out here, I want to make an igloo base. Not a house, just a, like a bundle of igloos, but these are going to be some cool igloos. Ah, oh, dang it. I really just had the urge to fly up over that mountain, but I gotta climb it. <laughs> now, this base won't really have a purpose. It's just for the fun of it. We're gonna set up a portal here so we can get here faster. Ah, so this is where we were last time. I don't think I want to build down here. I want to build in a nice flat. Oh my gosh, look at this. So much building potential. Someone didn't come prepared. Uh-oh. Thought you could chase me and maul me. I don't think so. I think the baby's down there too. That sucks. He's gonna die. Where? Ow. Oh my god. You hit me. Whoa. Oh wait, maybe they don't die because they're polar bears. They like that stuff. I just need to find a spot to build. I'm being too picky. Alright, what do we have here? Oh. Yes, this is our little igloo. It's gonna be our outpost for this snow biome. It's not done yet though. I do have some, oh, you need a crafting table? Top snow. With this, we'll be able to add so much more detail to this by layering it all over it. So I'm gonna do that. Eh, I like these chimneys too. Added a little hatch to them to make it look like they can be closed if they need to be. Actually, you know what? Just a nifty little, dis oh, wrong way. Just change them up so they can actually be closed, but I feel like I should lower the campfire by one in case I don't want... Ah! Smoke! There we go. Now we can cut off our smoke if we really wanted to. Actually, I don't need to add the snow pile at all because when it snows, it piles up. <laughs> so this is going to be our little igloo. I'm going to work inside now. I think I want to make a snow plow out here. So I think the base of the tractor is going to be like our logging tractors we have, but without the big arm on the front, we'll simply put a plow on it. I don't... crap. I don't... Uh, I don't know if I have any blackstone here. Also, I want to go ahead and create a portal. I feel like it should be inside though. I think I'll try to... yeah, I'll fit it right here. Ah, all right. I believe my little outpost is done here. I like it. It's comfy in here. That's for sure. I'm going to look at this more as a research outpost. Uh, I haven't made my tractor yet. Oh, snow really piled up out here. I'm going to check in the nether first. I got all my gear back on. This is always a scary part. I've had so many issues in the past making portals out far away and then going into the nether so i'm gonna hold my rockets Ooh, my armor's not looking good please make us a portal at least or don't drop me in lava that'd be really nice wow look at that it made us a proper portal Ooh. oh sweet i like that make sure and write this down so i don't lose it i need to start putting lodestone compasses around these so I can know where to find them if I lose them. Gotta put the sign on them. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. It's fun to look back or come across these builds way in the future. Anyway, uh, I'm building my snow plow here. As you can see, I got the track system made and I think this is the plow design I'm gonna go for. I kind of like it. These look good because it looks like just simple bars connecting to it. If you haven't noticed, in this game we do not have any small horizontal items other than lightning rods and rods or chains and those are all very bright colors besides a chain but the chain looks like a chain i wish we had more pieces like this in the game without that bit just horizontal small pieces anyway i am going to build the top here i guess i'm going to set it back a little bit i think i'm just going to do a natural cop oh i don't have a lot of copper this is all i brought with I'm just going to try to do my normal small cabin. Okay, I think my tractor is complete. I <laughs> I really love the way it turned out. And I love my tractor designs. I love using all this copper because eventually it's going to change over time. That's what I like about copper because once you finish building it, it looks great. And then you get to see it slowly change over time to something completely different. And yeah, I know lightning rods and acacia wood doesn't turn green. But I think that even adds more character and detail to it. I love the way this cat. Oh my god, this snow is so 
hard to run and it's annoying. <laughs> um, I love the way I designed this cab. Just adds a little bit of a, you know, unique look to it. Uh, we got some hydraulic pipes right here controlling the scoop. And then back here, just a little bit of detail to make it look like it's redstone powered. Yeah, too bad we just can't get in there. Too bad we can't just, you know, take off. <laughs> we can pretend this is how I got here. I could make a path, but I'm gonna make it look like it's been sitting here for a bit. Ooh, I could put, yeah, I'm gonna put some snow on it. There we go, a little bit of snow on it. Can't put it in a whole lot of places. Looking cool, all right. I think that's about all I really wanna do here today. Uh, I really like it out here. This could be the start of something really cool back here. I saw something. I wanna take a peek. Was it down here? Yeah, here it is. It's a hole. Oh! Oh, there's some more copper. I could've came down here. I had the perfect amount though, luckily. Ooh, I like how it's on the side of a hill so we can we can make like some sort of scaffolding come down. Ooh, this is a big cave. Oh yes, oh yeah, we can make it some sort of scaffolding come down there and make it look like a mining operation. All right, we are back home and I wanna work on my lab door. Yes, the lab door out of all things. First of all, I love presentation. So walking up to this, I want it to look exactly how I want it. Same as everything else in my world. Just like this right here. I love this presentation I have going on. It looks like death <laughs> if you walk through here. I want this to look very high tech. I want it to look inviting. First of all, I want to get rid of that third smokestack. I added that a while after I made these two, but I just don't like it there because it just, it looks like it blends with that one and I might make these two a little bit taller. Next, I am going to add in the pipes around this like I said I was going to, just to make it look like it is powering the door. I also need to add some blocks to make it look like the door actually goes into the mountain. Let's see what I can do. Okay, what about that? It's a very slight change. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we got some pipes around the main door now. Move that sign just a little bit. Got rid of that back smoke tower, raised these by two blocks. Made this connect to the mountain with basalt. Yeah, this is just an all-around better door now. Okay, <laughs> one thing I am still struggling with is how to cover up this. I think I've been down here before and tried to rewire it, but I couldn't come up with anything. Huh. Uh, after building this so long ago, I can't really tell what most of this is. Guess I'm going to have to do a simple torch tower. Does it look good? Did I break anything? I don't think so. Okay, yeah. Alright y'all, I think we did it. <laughs> All that just so I can place a block here. Blinking light. Oh yeah, All right. I didn't break anything. We're good. Alright, there we go. Our finished door. You guys recognize this place? Look familiar, just missing one thing, the portal. This was our old portal cave. We used to come down here every time we need to go to the nether. I actually really miss it. It was unique because it looks like we discovered it through like a break in the wall. But that is the only creation besides a fossil I had out there that the corruption got rid of. Kind of makes me not come down here a whole lot anymore. We need to add more uses for the sewer. I actually have a huge plan to renovate the sewers again because this area, how it merges with this area and this, just, I hate it. It has to be redone. Anyway, I've been messing around over in the museum, believe it or not. I know, we've been everywhere today. <laughs> but I actually need some glow ink. I have no rockets either. Guess I gotta run to the ocean. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the whole freaking point of horses. I'm just so <laughs> reliant on elytra wings. Oh my god, Betty, how have you been? Let's go. Holy smokes, it's fast. Small detail, but I thought I'd mention it. I've had this floating tree here forever, and I just now realized I can just build the stem back down. And I did that in a curved fashion, and I realized that just looks better altogether. So anywhere you have really big oak trees like this, just do this every so often, and it'll give it such a better look, in my opinion. That was a big explosion. I'm still, f oh, there's a creeper. I need you, actually, I really need you. I'm still finding sand just laying about out here. You know how long it's been since we've fought the wither? I really, like, really want us to fight another one. I need beacons like nobody's business. 
Well, I couldn't find any glow squid. I have to go out to new chunks to find them because they mainly spawn deep in the water in like new chunks. As you can see, I expanded the retirement wall because <laughs> I know stuff is going to be hopping on here pretty quick. I think these are towards the end too. There's no telling. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this one here with a comment from Dalton Brown. It's got to be asked. Do you have any resolutions or changes you want to make this year? Yes. Yes, I do. So, let me ask you guys. Are you guys the type that have resolutions and view the new year as like a new time to improve yourself? Because I definitely do. I take advantage of this as much as I can because it's a good motivator. It's an excuse to get your butt in gear. And that's exactly what I do. Um, my resolutions this year are pretty simple and probably the same as last year, but I just have to try my hardest to stick to them. And the number one thing is, is upload on this channel a lot. That's all I want to do. And so far, I want to try to get out a video every other day. I don't think every day is possible. Otherwise, it'd be really short, like 10 minute videos with not doing a whole lot. Wow, this horse is fast. I didn't think I'd make it out here so fast. So every other day, and I might miss two days, um, but that's the idea. I don't want to miss more than two days. And if it does happen, it happens. I'm just going to do my utmost best to not do that. Other than that, I'm just going to try to hit the gym consistently again. Get back on my bulking diet, which I have a hard time doing because I just <laughs> I have a really hard time getting lots of calories down. But I think I can do it. I just got to find the right foods and track my calories, hit the gym consistently, and then I'll reach my goals. I have packed on weight. I used to be a really skinny twig. I'm still pretty skinny, but I still want to pack on some more weight. Further signs and donations have been moved to the catacombs beneath the chapel. Okay. Before we leave off, I of course just want to thank some of my fine donors of this channel. Elvis Fisher with a kind donation. Thank you, Elvis. <laughs> Jawau Pieria. Pie oh, God. I'm going to butcher these names, by the way. There's a few in here that are questionable. Jawau. Jawau. Jawau Piara with a nice donation. Thank you so much. Sam Bennett with a generous donation. Thank you, Sam. Liam Cairns. It's very thoughtful of you, Liam. All of you guys. So thoughtful. Leonard Sanichen. Sanichen. But it had the little dots above the end. I don't know. Is that a Swedish name? I can't really tell. But thank you so much, Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> thank you all. That is very kind of you. Don't worry. We're going to be working on this soon, too. We just got to take breaks from stuff every once in a while. I can't just like, you know, keep working on this episode after episode after episode because that can really lead to burnout for you guys too, trust me. I gotta go on a mass blackstone collecting spree, finish all these walls, gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with this ceiling, oh gosh. It's gonna stay pretty flat, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of design in it. This place is almost done too, the ancient prison. I love this room. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in the next episode, bye bye.